Hey boys and girls, we're back again looking at the, uh, the new Model 3 we just bought. Um, we found some good things and some things that we're not uh, thrilled about. But anyway, let's talk a little bit about the things that, uh, that um, we found. We're not really sure whether they're good or bad, but we found them. So let's start right here. Um, we noticed this little access cover and um, I was kind of surprised because I don't remember seeing an access cover before. Now I took up the two little Zeus fittings and then you've got a, a pretty good snap fit. Um, uh, well, they have a European towing package, but there's, n there's no towing package for this vehicle. Now, if we swing in here and have a look, you can see that the bumper beam is, um, is uh, it's possible to access it. What for if, you, if there's no towing package? So we look at this and we say, well, why, why would they do that? Um, so there's one reason, and that is uh, complexity on the line. If you have an assembly line that's, uh, that's short, and uh, you're, you're constrained, uh, then sometimes having extra bits and pieces are a problem. But this piece costs money, and to have all these other snap fits and the Zeus fittings, that costs a lot of money too. It would seem to me that this, if it's for North America build, it shouldn't be on here. So that's one thing that we found that um, I wasn't as, as uh, happy about as, uh, as I could have been. But one thing I am happy with is most car company, most companies in general are very poor at snap fits. This, uh, this is something that somebody could be proud of. Hear that snap? That's pretty dramatic. And you'll notice that it's coming off this lower component so that we can hold the, uh, the air shield we can hold that air shield on with these screws here, and, and this is coming off of a different part. Look at this fit. I don't know, I don't know um, who the guy is that did this, but, but I'm telling you flat, that's precise. This is what we should be seeing on the doors on the, uh, on the, on the passenger side. This is really well done. I'm really impressed with that. So now let's uh, have a look at uh, under here. Um, we found that um, underneath the car, and like I say, we're not really into this yet. We're just kind of like looking at it. Um, and if you look up here where my little pointer is, you can see that one of the links for the five bar link is different. You'll see that this is just like on the Model Y. It's a weldment, different than the pipes that they were using before like this and that. So that's uh, uh, less money. So they're trying to get to a point where they can reduce some of their costs. Let's go up here. And <clears throat> I, uh, I know that there's a lot of Tesla haters. I like to try and be impartial, but um, there's a tremendous amount of information on the web that says, oh, Tesla's forgetting to put on things like, um, <laughs> like the, uh, the nuts for the uh, upper and lower control arms. And, I mean, these are dramatic, that's a very dramatic kind of a thing that could happen. If those nuts aren't there, uh, you'll drive for a little while, but not too far before it falls apart. So we looked at here in depth and, and uh, we found nothing wrong. Everything here looks as good as gold as far as I'm concerned. I don't see any problems with anything. Um, now, I'm looking at a sample size of one, but I can tell you that if they got any better at this, then I don't know how they'd do it. I may have criticisms of the fit and finish, especially with the doors, but at the end of the day, uh, there's nothing wrong with this kind of a build. I love their suspension, and I think that the construction is quite good. I also know that, um, I also know that or we found that, uh, that we've got little things that, uh, that make me kind of excited. So have a look at this. And it doesn't look like much, but these pieces plus four studs are not in the product anymore. Now, what does that mean? Well, for one thing, they found out that, let's have a look over here. They found out that this hole doesn't really do anything for them. Uh, that's where you would have found this push nut. It would have gone in there where now they have a, a blob of stuff. And, uh, and you'd push it and then it would click in place and hold this little loose tab here. 
but it's not there anymore. If you look over here, you can see the same thing. It's not there anymore, okay? So that's not a mistake on one side of the car. That's something that's been eliminated. And quite frankly, when I look at the short distance between here and here, it doesn't make sense to me to want to put any more componentry in. Now, <clears throat> on the old vehicle, there was a stud, which I can't find anymore because it's not there. And then what I would do is I'd put these push nuts on. Whoops, I got two of them, luckily. I'd put these push nuts on, shove them in place. So the studs have been eliminated, the push nuts have been eliminated, and now what we're looking at is a little bit of a savings. So let's go over to the little board here and uh, I'll show you what comes up. Okay, so let's have a look at, um, at, at what the cost might be. So the first thing I want to do is I want to put down the, uh, the four um, welded construction studs. So these studs are taken and pushed into the uh, steel frame and that's what kind of uh, you're going to be putting the, um, the push nuts on. So there's four of those and we're going to say that for all those four there's probably going to be about a dime's worth of cost. And then you've got four um, push, push nuts. And they're, they're plastic, okay? And uh, we're going to just say that all four of those are probably worth about two cents. <clears throat> and then you've got, um, you've got those two um, uh, push pins. The two push pins are sitting there and they're going to be about two cents as well. Okay, so, um, so now we're looking at what about the labor? So the labor for everything there is probably going to be maybe a little more than this, but we're going to say that it's uh, three cents. So for that, it gives us um, a total of uh, 17 cents, right? 17 cents. And does that sound like it's worth your while to, to do anything? I mean, 17 cents is nothing, right? Let's find out what happens when we multiply it times, um, times 400,000. Because they're going to make 400,000 of these things a year. So if we make in 400,000 times 0.17, uh, that's going to give us $68,000. So that means that's one free car. But you run these things for about five years. So what happens if we take the, 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 the uh, $68,000 times five years? Well, that's going to give us $340,000. Okay. So here's the deal, boys and girls. When Monroe and Associates goes to work for a company, we look at the big things. If we can take a buck out, two bucks out, hey, that's great news. But you know what? There's a lot of money and a lot of value to be had in looking at the little things. The little things that uh, Tesla is doing like this, they add up to a lot of money. Now, they did these little changes in the last two years. And remember before, I said I had lots of ideas when I was at Ford, could never get them through the change board, never. They wanted to sit on them for a year just to think about them. These, these are pretty much nothing. But they do calculate out into weight. They do calculate out into cost. They do calculate out into labor. And the more of the little things that you can get rid of, the better off the vehicle is going to be and the better your bottom line is going to be. Now, we've just seen this a little bit. We're going to go on a ride and drive next. But this little bit of... of, uh, of of information that we've gathered just by looking at it quickly tells us that again Tesla is looking to reduce the cost of their existing product they're refining they're still doing things at the speed of thought so with that I'd like to uh, I'd like to stop it right there and um, and tell you to simply uh, go out there and make sure that you're tipping those cashiers and uh, and have yourself a great and safe day thanks very much bye bye